Now we're staying mild as we make our way into the evening hours. Here's a look at the current temperatures still into the upper 70s in Lakes Country. We're near 80 from Fargo, Valley City, Jamestown, upper 70s as you approach the South Dakota border. And we do have a warm spot into the Northern Valley and Devil's Lake Basin, some lower 80s, but mid 70s to upper 70s into northwestern Minnesota. Not bad for this time of night and this time of year. Winds are light and variable, mainly from a northeasterly direction. Wind speeds 5 to 10 miles per hour. That northeasterly wind does pump down cooler and drier air from Canada. It's trying to flip around to more of a southerly direction. We have a southerly wind at Bismarck that has started to pick up. We're going to have more of a southerly wind and a warm up as we go through the next couple of days. That's ahead of our next system. We do have mostly clear skies across most of our counties right now with just a few clouds into the northern valley devil's lake basin and south of jamestown you have to make your way into portions of central south dakota western north dakota along this front here that's where they do have uh, some shower and thunderstorm activity uh, that will make its way into our viewing area over say friday evening into uh, the uh the uh, nighttime hours as this cold front makes its way through. Until then, high pressure is in charge of our forecast and uh, it will continue to give us mostly clear skies. Temperatures falling back through the 70s and then through the 60s. Uh, we're going to have low temperatures into the upper 50s for most of us. We stay mainly clear. Then going through the day on Thursday, more of the same. We do have mostly sunny to uh, sunny skies across the region and temperatures will be a little warmer. That puts us near 80 across our Minnesota counties in mid 80s from the Red River and points off to the west. In Fargo, there's your low of 58. High temperatures around 83, 84 degrees, mostly sunny skies. The wind flipping around to more of a southerly direction, starting to pick up a little uh, southeasterly winds between five, uh, 5 and 15 miles per hour for the day tomorrow. High temperatures still uh, near 80 into our uh, northwestern Minnesota counties. Everybody else, high temperatures into the low to mid 80s with plenty of sunshine. And then as we go through the day on Friday, temperatures rising through the 60s, 70s. Most of us are going to be into the mid to upper 80s as we go through the day on Friday. And this is our next chance of some showers and thunderstorms moving through mainly into the evening. It should be gone by the early overnight on Saturday. And then we are back to mainly clear skies across the region. Let's take a look at the photo of the day. This one is a nice field of sunflowers in Rolog, Minnesota. Thank you to Elaine for this one. We'll use it in the background of the seven day forecast. There's your high of 84 for tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies, increasing clouds for the day on Friday. That's our warmest day. We're going to be into the upper 80s. Do have that chance of some showers and thunderstorms as we make our way through the late afternoon, evening, and possibly the early overnight into Saturday. But for the day on Saturday, decreasing clouds through the morning back to mostly sunny skies. High of 80 degrees and we stay near 80 on Sunday with mostly sunny skies. Monday, sunny high of 81. Mostly sunny Tuesday, high of 79 and 84 for the day on Wednesday, still with mostly sunny skies. Let's take a look at the cash wise uh, photo barbecue photo uh, winner. This one is from Jim Harrison of Valley City. This is a shot of a wonderful kayaking trip. Uh, thank you to cash wise. Uh, we're going to send him a gift card. Anybody can sign up at a cash wise store or at valleynewslive.com. And uh, we are uh, going to send you a, a nice barbecue, a virtual backyard barbecue. We hope to uh, get back out soon, but uh, it's still nice to have uh, uh, yeah, one of those barbecues in the summer. Oh, yeah, it sure is. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Justin.